my mom and my dad and I are driving to Columbus when we're gonna do Father's Day today because um okay so my brother's in Cincinnati for the summer and you know we're up in Cleveland obviously Columbus is a very happy midpoint so that way he doesn't have to drive all the way up here or we wouldn't go all the way down there whatever that is you know we take all kind of like family like what do you call it family holidays I don't what's the word for that we take them very seriously well more so like Mother's Day Father's Day their anniversary their birthdays like it's I don't know they're the king and queen <laughs> Okay, we're gonna share the lip. Okay, maybe we'll bring the camera closer for that. Okay, so this is the YSL Rouge Volupt Shine in Oil Stick number 58. I had one of these when they came out. Did Andrew get it for me? I think he did. I, ha I don't know, did I get it by myself? Sometimes I don't know. <laughs> so look at this color. Bam, right? So gorgeous. Now, when these first came out, this is the only one that really appealed to me. But I think I got a nude one because maybe it was winter time-ish, fall, winter, and I was like, I'm not going to grab this orange. I'll grab it later. So I've been feeling brighter colors. You see, even the nails are more like, this is a uh, by Felucia from Wet n Wild. And a couple vlogs ago, I showed you that like really bright matte pink from Lancome. So I've been really into like these brighter colors. However... This one is like my favorite formula ever, lip product wise. Okay, for those of you guys who are makeup junkies, you know how it's kind of hard to get through lip products. Um, I mean, maybe some of us can, but I don't get through lip products that often. The only things I have empties of are these YSL Rouge Volupt Shines and the Rouge, Rouge Volupt um, Sheer Candies, which are getting discontinued. I'm just very sad. I think they're getting discontinued, but then these are now the officially the, their best product. And not just their best product, one of my best products. I have empties of maybe like three, like either like the sheer candies, the shines, these are the shine and oil sticks. They go on like a balm. They make you feel like your lips are perfect because they feel so nice, because they feel so nice, they look so nice, they look and feel very moisturized. You can't beat anything. Like these are zero complaint products like the packaging is gorgeous they apply gorgeous they smell gorgeous they feel gorgeous they look gorgeous there is like there are no faults so these are the two i have let me do swatches just in case we need a better idea oh my god because they're sheer depending on what your lip color is oh it's so hot can you see my hair kind of sticking to me um because they're sheer you can kind of I feel like almost any color could look good on anyone. Does that make any sense? This one is number 44. This one is number 58. Did I tell you that yet? Okay, so these are the swatches. So you can see that they're quite sheer. They impart enough color. I mean, look, like this is the one, the orange on my lips. So it's like much darker on my lips. So I would say that they actually go on a little darker depending on what your lip color is. So... I'm feeling it. I love oranges. Oranges and like neon peaches are like my go-to shades for summer because I feel like they make me look the most tan <laughs> slash awake. So I found this mysterious thing when I woke up this morning. I was like, oh. And apparently it's been there for a while, but how have I not seen it? Are you guys like that? I have like these mysterious bruises. So I was like, hmm, how did that happen? But apparently it's been here for a while because it's like in the state of healing and it doesn't really hurt anymore except for where that blood is kind of like you know collected i don't know when this happened because this must have been really painful and you know like when you hit yourself against something or you hurt yourself you always sit there or i don't know if you always but i always like sit there and like i don't care how much it hurts I'll, like i will take like the edge of my palm and just rub it out so that the blood doesn't collect and create a bruise but like we clearly did not do that um, random sharing. Do you guys find bruises and wonder where they came from ever? Good morning. We are here. It is Sunday morning. Um, let me go through skincare first. There's already some swatches on here because these are going to take a really long time to swatch during the video. So we did them beforehand. Skincare. I was going to share the skincare or I am going to share the skincare this morning that I put out. But I'm going to share what I have on last night too just because... I don't know, sometimes I feel like what I choose to put on in the morning is based off of what I used in the evening, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so after, last night after cleansing my face, I put on one of the Nip Fab Glycolic Fix Daily Cleansing Pads. The This is the like daily normal one. They have one that's for nighttime that is stronger. I haven't started using that again. I'm kind of letting, I don't know if my 
I don't know if my skin needs to recover from whatever has been going on, but uh, we're just using the, the lighter version. And then I covered it with the Sisley Black Rose Cream Mask Love. So of course this morning when I like removed you know, all this with the cleansing water. Oh, it felt so good. I actually need to repurchase the Kagendo. I need to get that. Beautylish has the big, big bottle. That's what I need to get. Um, and then, of course, I use the Cosmetics Opti Crystal Liquid Crystal Eye Serum because if you watch the last vlog, you understand the intense, passionate love I have for this. Um, so this is on again this morning. And then I use the Skin Fix Hydrating Lotion. I always thought this was like a very more lightweight lotion, maybe because I had started using it in the winter, but now, or it could also be because I have this on, because this always leaves your skin so like, mm, the next morning that like anything you put on top of it just feels great, but I use this because I love Skin Fix. If you guys watch, you guys, I love this brand. For foundation, I pulled out my Tom Ford Traceless Perfecting Foundation again. You see, this is, I started this last summer and this is how much I have left now. Um, being in the car yesterday, all day pretty much also super hot it's like 92 95 ish um i got a big a bit of a tan and i was able to pull this out again so hopefully we'll finish this off i forgot how much i love this i know i pretty much used this through the entire summer last summer because it just makes your skin so pretty um but i don't know we might Maybe when I run out of this, maybe I'll try to use this on and off this summer and then I'll pick up my winter shade so I could use it in the winter because it's such a beautiful, beautiful foundation. And I use the Artiz number no. 7, the larger one. It just, I've been so into using that brush lately. Here, hold on. Okay, this is the number 7. This is the number 6. The number 6 is like the more, not, I don't want to say standard, standard for me. This is usually the one I get, like um, the MAC one, the Misha. Uh, the Kaylin, they're all kind of more this size, whereas this one's just a little bit bigger. But this one, it's like you pop your foundation on and you're just like one, two, three, four. You're kind of like, that's an exaggeration. I mean, obviously I blend it better, but this is like magic foundation. Like your foundation goes off, goes off, goes on in like two seconds. And this is even great for blending out post makeup. If you think that anything looks muddy or not blended, just like run this like right anywhere. You're like, oh. Bronzer is now blended, contour is now blended, highlight and blusher are now fused. Whatever it is that you kind of want to look perfected, this is a great brush to just like run right over it. I don't know. I've done a video on oval brushes. The cheaper ones are not better. Like they really aren't. I want them to be better, but they're not. I'm not saying you need to buy the RTs, but definitely don't go and buy like a like a combo pack for like 10 bucks, 20 bucks. They're not good. For the under eye concealer, I use the Sicily number no. two love. This shade is a bit of, the difference between shades one and two is big difference. Number one is very light on me. It's a very ivory shade. It has warmth for sure, but uh, the number two is, I mean, too many a pretty orange. Now when you blend it in, it just kind of corrects everything and it looks really pretty under the eyes. Um, okay, finally I can show these to you. These are the Real Techniques, uh, I think mini eraser, is that what they're called? I, you know, when Real Techniques first came out with their sponge, we all tried it, most of us loved it. I still liked my Beauty Blender over it. Um, I don't know if it's just over time, if my preferences have changed, if my technique has changed, but I had been using the Mini Beauty Blender and I was like, okay, I like this, too small. So I picked up the Ulta one. Ulta has mini sponges that are slightly larger than the Beauty Blender one and I like that. And then I was like, okay, let me try something even slightly bigger. Hold on, I'm being really stupid about my description. This is the Beauty Blender. This is the Ulta one, slightly bigger. And these are <laughs> almost double the size. These Real Techniques ones, they have a flat side like that. And then they have, you know, your pointed tip. These are phenomenal. These can come in a two pack, I think, or a four pack. I grabbed the four pack because I'm like, I'm just, I knew I was gonna enjoy them. Using this to do your concealer under your eyes is a brand new world. I don't know why it's a brand new world, but it looks so different and different in the most beautiful way. I feel like it takes whatever you're putting on it and then it takes the texture of your skin and it just becomes this like smooth, beautiful thing where you're like, wow, amazing. I haven't used a single concealer where I don't think that these make a difference. So I highly recommend going out and getting these. They're at Ulta, where else? Walmart, Target, can't you get Real Techniques everywhere now?
To set the face, I revisited two powders. This is the Hourglass and Diffuse Light. Clearly, we love this so hard at some point. Um, it is just really beautiful because I've been trying to go through all my powders, right? Like I told you, so I can tell you guys which ones are like the absolute best. So good. And then for the rest of the face, I used Dim Light. And Dim Light has a decent divot. Like there is no like, uh, I was going to say mound. There is no dome on it anymore. Uh, but they're just really beautiful on the skin. To kind of sculpt out the face, we use the Graftobian uh, HD Cream Highlight Contour Palette in light. Uh, again, this shade to carve out the cheekbones under the chin a little bit. And then this shade right here under the brows. And okay, for brow, for people who carve out their brows, I've never been someone that's carved out their brows until I got this. And even then, I only do like the bottom part. I feel like when you carve out the entire brow, it's like, it's very in your face. Maybe it doesn't look in your face on camera, but I feel like when I'm looking at myself in a mirror in person and as I'm doing it, I'm like, whoa. I don't want any particular feature to be like so at the forefront of, you know what I mean? I just want people to be like, oh, pretty makeup and not like, oh, look, you know what I mean? I don't know. I even, I'm even introverted about my makeup. Um, and then I use this yellow shade here down the center of the nose uh, for highlighting. I actually don't have highlight on today. I don't know, why did I skip it? I think I felt because my skin felt really glowy or looked really glowy that I just didn't even want to um, put highlight on. Although you probably can't tell. I feel like the, the, these lights always make me look a little more matte, which, which is nice, which is pretty, but when I, oh, there you go. When I get closer, you can see like how like kind of glowy the skin is and there's like no highlight on here. And something else I did today with this, um, I took this peachy shade, which I use under the brows and I kind of cleaned up the lower lash line, the eye makeup. Cause usually we go for like that smudgy, cloudy, smoky look, which I love a lot. But sometimes, I think I was explaining it to you earlier, was it one or two vlogs ago where I sometimes, it looks great this way, but when I turn, it always kind of looks kind of undone which i'm fine with but today i cleaned it up do you guys like that i really like it it took like two seconds my obsession brush my favorite brush what am i trying to say the elf concealer brush the flat one with this to under the brows to clean everything so good to finish off the face we have a new bronzer this is the bare minerals invisible bronze powder in the shade tan i really enjoy their packaging it's really pretty it's just plain black glossy with rose gold writing. Is this a new thing they're doing? This is kind of reminiscent of Anastasia though, yeah? When I like swatch it on my finger, it looks really gray. You guys see that? Yes, you know what I'm saying now, right? It looks really gray, but then I swatch it and then it like looks like bronzer. Really pretty. I've been into using my Wayne Goss double O, double O brush. Let me know if you want me to start including the brushes in this breakdown. It's gonna make this video, this part of the video so long, but I feel like the tools make such a huge difference. So that's the bronzer on top of the kind of contour cream from Graftobian. We, I have it on kind of done lightly today. I think I did it lightly today. I also feel like being in the sun yesterday like lightened my hair, like it looks more red than like that kind of purpley tone. Okay, brows. I actually did not use the black up today. I don't know why I didn't, I should have. I don't know if I, I guess I like these brows. I guess they look pretty good. This is the Essence Make Me Brow Gel Eyebrow Gel Mascara. I think this is in the shade two. So I just ran this through my brows first to darken and thicken every single hair, and then I went in with my Benefit Precisely My Brow number six. Now, for the eyes, Graftobian sent over. You guys know I've been loving Graftobian. Clearly I love the Graftobian, <laughs> that palette. The bronzer is great. The I think those are the only things I've tried, right? <laughs> have I tried more stuff from Graftobian? Anyway, so there's this little set of like these duos. You have a shimmer powder slash kind of loose eyeshadow, and then you have a cream under here. And then you ha they sent this magic set mixing and lining liquid. I have not gotten into this yet because this in itself today was a lot of time spent on like experimenting and playing. So we'll revisit this later. There's also a cake liner that they have that I'm so interested in trying because I love doing like smoky winged liner. I just don't think I have the right kind of you know i always feel like when i see people use cake liner that needs you know activation with some sort of liquid it always looks really great 
um that was like really kind of crazy eyes um so we'll revisit this maybe next vlog but for now we're going to talk about ooh, these they're these are like warmer tones so i already did all my swatches because i didn't want to like open these and try to show you things and have stuff fall out because that is not fun for the table okay so this is in the shade cafe cosmos let me see if the the powders they're called the same thing yes okay so they come in a set this is the first time you would think with all the makeup i've had and for as long as i've been like buying and playing with makeup i would have bought these kind of this kind of product something that's like a cream and a shadow because i have you guys ever seen me not use a cream colored base to do my eye makeup every single time i share my makeup it is a colored base sometimes i'll use an actual eye primer but i will always go on top of it with a colored base so these i saw these i was like yes this is a great idea okay so cafe cosmos you have cream on the bottom so there's the cream i obviously have been using a spatula because i'm a safer not that i do makeup on other people that often but and then i'm not going to open this up but i did like i took the time to shake all of the color to the front so that you can get an idea the next one is called shimmering sand this is so beautiful if you like a pale gold and you like a gold gold like a yellow gold so gorgeous as far as like natural eyelid color goes for me oh my god this is when you when you see this watch you're gonna be like that is gorgeous it is beautiful and there's an idea of what the powder looks like lastly this is the shade in burgundy blast i was still looking forward to the shade but it was a little bit of a disappointment for me um well it's a disappointment for me in that i probably won't wear it every day i can probably wear it for like weekend or evening that's what the cream looks like also the texture of this cream is a little softer and more i would say it applies a little patchier and that's what the powder looks like is ready for these swatches okay cafe cosmos down here is what the cream looks like. The cream is so beautiful. When I applied this today, I didn't even want to apply anything on top of it because I was like, it's so gorgeous. On the lid, it is so beautiful. It looks so smooth. It looks like your, how to explain it? Like it was skin. It looked like skin, but you know, in this color. This is with the powder. This is what I have on my eyes today. Do you see how beautiful? It comes together like that gold wherever there is like rounder areas like wherever the you know where it would pop out more on my eyelid that yellow comes out and it's so beautiful that goldish yellow do you see it's just oh, it's so beautiful I it, I want to say in the past few months maybe into even last year I've been pretty into like brown but like reddish browns and like purples and like burgundy so this is like the first time in a while that i feel like i've done a very like bronze eye look and i love it and it's like perfect for summer and i just kind of got a tan yesterday you know and then the very top is the powder by itself which it's still really beautiful but it doesn't have as much of that gold tone in it because you know this cream really brings it out this one in the center is shimmering sands this is the cream by itself isn't it gorgeous it almost goes slightly brownie orange like a light brownie orange and this applied on bare lids oh god no makeup makeup that is your color this is with the powder on top of it totally changes it right you get this like yellow gold that we all love i feel like whenever you see like eyeshadow palettes there's always something like this because you know it's really beautiful people love putting a gold everyone loves gold because because it's like your classic glamour look or it's like you know it's like when you want to be dressy and then the very top swatch is the powder by itself isn't it pretty the powder by itself is actually really gorgeous it has it doesn't have as much dimension as when you lay it on top of a cream um but still really pretty the last one is burgundy blast so you can see what i'm saying about it applying kind of patchy and this is a heavier swatch so you can see the color but when you blend it out it kind of like I'm not it kind of blends away these two set really nicely but this one just doesn't and I don't know if like maybe my product had separated it, it, it in fact felt much softer than the other two and then this is with the powder on top of it so of course that's like <laughs> so gorgeous I mean so that's what I mean when I say it's like it's disappointing in that I can't wear it every day 
because I would love to have like a cream base like that every day or even by itself but when you layer it it's beautiful and then this is the powder on its own up here um, and that's kind of a heavy swatch and I did wet my brush for this one because it, it's grainier so it wouldn't really stay on my hand so just to let you know that this one required a little more work but you can create something really pretty with it but obviously I'm super into this these two will be revisited a lot and I will try this with the mixing medium that they sent over so we'll see how that goes but so let's remove these swatches and see about the staying power. So the burgundy one kind of went away pretty quickly. Let's just get all that off. And then this yellow one, this yellow one actually went away pretty nicely too. This brown one, a little more staying power, a little more oomph to get it off actually. Okay. So there you go. Also, maybe the light one came off just as difficult as the brown one, but because it's lighter, I don't see it as much, like the remnants after the first swipe. Okay, so as of right now, I'm highly recommending Cafe Cosmos to you, as well as Shimmering Sand. These are going to be like staples for summer, pretty sure about that. <laughs> the rest of the eye makeup, we have the MAC Costa Riche. We just, I just love these today. Today I'm going to CVS because I have to get certain things. Um, I'm going to get the L'Oreal Cajals. I have to because I love those. So this is Costa Rica. Let me swatch this. And then I also use the Tarte Tardis Double Take Liner where it has the pencil on one side, which I didn't use today. I only used the liquid liner part of it. Uh, you guys, when I showed you guys that vlog where I swatched this one, the Sicily and the Tom Ford, and like the Sicily won by like a landslide, Tom Ford did pretty well. This one is just so bleedy every time the more i use it the more i can see how it does that on the eye makeup too when i've especially when i've used something else more recently i can see a huge difference um i'm just gonna i'm gonna finish it off and i love the idea of having dual ended things but i mean we'll finish it but it is not, not intense love it's okay love which isn't actually love is it lastly for the lip we have Ooh, I'm like sideways on this chair two inches away from the camera. Okay, let's get in position again. Okay, the hair is so like doing its own thing today. I did my hair real cute yesterday and then it was so hot and it died and now, now this is post-death. Okay, post-mortem? Post is that what it is? I was gonna say postpartum, wrong word. This is the NYX Slim Lip Pencil in Soft Brown love so love you guys saw this a lot uh you saw this in the last vlog there's been some laziness that, that's been taking place um obviously whenever i get new products in i try them out but then whatever has remained on the vanity from before has also just stayed on the vanity so it's kind of like so this is back still and then this is the ysl rouge fill up shine in number 11. i kind of wanted to do more of a natural look today i guess as natural as natural can be and i don't care like what kind of natural look you're doing any product from this line is gonna look so natural because it's so sheer so that's the lip combo today and the lashes I have on today are the Kiss Boudoir. I think it's their foaming line, which I think is really pretty. You know how good this skin looks for not having a highlighter on right now? Like seriously, that black rose cream mask, or maybe it's the combination, the glycolic pad, which was like, you know, doing a nice, nice little baby peel, and then having the moisture of the black rose cream mask on top of it, like gorgeous. Like, I mean, this is a good moisturizer, but it does not make your skin glow like, that evening routine is what made this skin glow. Love, so beautiful. I think we're trying to say pretty and beautiful together and it came out like beautiful. So ugly. Okay, same look, different location to share different kinds of things. I know, so professional. Okay, so I went to Columbus yesterday, right? Like I told you and so hot. It was such a good trip though. I love seeing my brother whenever I can see him. I'm always like so excited and um, we went to Ikea because they opened up an Ikea there. I, I knew this like when they announced it like last year. I was so excited and then it opened and I was like, oh. Now, they have got shit down pat there. Like you go and you pull in and it's like there's people directing you, telling you where the empty spots are. Oh, the sun is out again. 
and it's just so efficient. It's like you're at a football game. There's people telling you where to park and you get in there. When you go eat, they're like, this is where there's like a free spot here. We'll take your trays, go to this line. Like it is so like, you don't have to think about it. You feel like sheep. You definitely feel like you're part of a herd, but is it a herd of sheep? No, it is. You know, I don't remember. Okay, but it's like very efficient there. So I didn't really get anything at, at Ikea except for like food things. The last time I sh went to Ikea, I showed you guys I had picked up these uh, chocolates, but they were in like a bag and you can have them individually like wrapped. These are like in a bar, which I guess is okay, but they're so good. Now I am like diehard dark chocolate only. And if they made these in dark chocolate, I would totally get them, but I don't think they do, but for now, we have these. I'm obsessed with these. And I got a whole bunch because my aunt's going to Taiwan to visit family, like more of our family. So I know one of my aunts really likes toffee, so I'm going to give some to her to take, amongst other things. That's why we have to go for a trip today. CBS. Okay. Back in the day when I used to go to Ikea all the time when I lived in Dubai, because there's like one there, um, I used to... I never saw this. These like gummy candies, brand new thing to me. Now the last time I went, I picked up a whole bunch, but I figured out which my, which ones were my favorite. These things, they're like, I don't know, they're like these strawberry magical things. They're like, there's like crunchy things inside that pink stuff and then, oh, so good. These things, these logs, I think it's like cola with lemon maybe, so good. And then these are, I can't remember, maybe I didn't want to get these, but I got them because I thought they were the other things that I just showed you, the red ones. I think these are like raspberry or strawberry or rhubarb, something, but uh, any of these logs I love. And then these little puffy things, oh, so good. These little strawberry puffs, mm, so delicious. Okay. I got those marzipan cakes, marzipan cream cakes, got those, they're pink. Pink Mound, so delicious. So we went to celebrate Father's Day. We went to a restaurant called Akehana. It's in this like little Japanese market thing. So there's like a bakery, there's a couple restaurants, or an actual restaurant, two maybe more fast food places, and then like a market. The last time I went, I picked up these coffee cornet, cornet, C-O-R-N-E-T. Let me know how this pronounces. Um, and so good. They're, Sold at the grocery, but there is a bakery called Bell's Bell's Bread, Bell's Bread, and they make these and they sell them in the grocery, obviously. So they only had one of the coffee ones. <sighs> I was like looking for them because I saw these, which are like the chocolate ones, and I had a bite of them, and they're like, okay, these coffee ones. Oh my god! I'm like, what is the point if there's only one? And my brother's like, what do you mean? What is the point if there's only one? I'm like. He's like, are you just not gonna get it? I'm like, no, I'm gonna get it, but I really want like 10. And then I grabbed something I haven't tried before. It's their almond croissant. I got some powdered sugar, sliced almonds. I'm sure this will be good. Okay, time to change clothes and be off because it's gonna rain. And I wanna get all my errands run before it rains. Yeah. Okay, it is so humid outside right now. Um, you're like, wow, she looks more clothed now, yeah. <laughs> um, whenever I film like in that room with the blank wall, I have like those studio lights, right? And it always gets really, really warm. It was supposed to rain at like 11. Right now it's 11.30 and it hasn't rained yet. So hoping for the best. I have to go to CVS and I have to go to get some groceries. And if there's time, I really want to go play at Ulta. I need new hair masks. Um, I went through both of the N Ava NYC, those big pink tubs, so that's gone. So you know when you um, run out of something, you go into like your like black hole of samples? So I found this one mask by Fido and I really liked it and I used it, obviously. So lovely and it smelled like really nice. I don't know. It didn't stand out particularly like, oh my god. I don't know. I just really like the Ava NYC one, the one in the tub. If you guys have hair like me, let me know what kind of hair masks you like because I tend to use hair masks in place of conditioner. My hair is dry, it's straight, it's coarse. I get split ends obviously every so often because of heat styling. But 
hair and makeup look so different in different lighting, guys. It's like insane. I feel like right now my hair looks like so shiny and glossy, but when I film um, in like with the studio lights, it takes like it makes everything so matte. And then before when I was filming in like the very, very direct sunlight, like, you know, by the little, the plants and everything, that also looks so different. That always makes my eyes look so blue or green, not blue, never blue, but like kind of like a very green or like a very bright hazel, which obviously I love. And then in this lighting, you know, everything's like kind of darker, but then also smoother. I don't know. Okay, so Ulta. Um, there were too many people in parking lots today for, does not suit my level of massive discomfort. <laughs> okay, so Ulta, oh, so the hair stuff I wanted, buy one, get one half off, super awesome. So we got the therapy session hair mask again. Ooh, the sun. Okay, out of nowhere the sun came out. I did not have sunglasses with me. I felt like I was being aged as I drove. <laughs> okay, and then I also picked up the Clean It Up shampoo. I don't play with shampoo that often, so there's someone out there. Right, so I don't really explore shampoo that often. I tend to use the ginseng one that I use, it's a Korean one. Uh, but this said Clean It Up, Argan Oil, Caravis Protein? I don't know, we'll try it. Cause I mean, I like most of the stuff I've tried from this brand. Buy one, get one half off. Also, whoever told me about the Ibotta app, I had downloaded that app when it first released and I didn't really like it. And then you guys were telling me how like, not you guys, that one, whoever you are, thank you, said that they're now doing like rebates. So like if you go to like jet.com or if you go to Spring and you use the Ibotta app, you get like, is it 20% off or 15% cash back? It's something really nice. Um, so I was looking on the app and so buying this, even though I had like, what, buy one, get one half off. And then you always use your 350 coupon, right? So the shampoo was 428 and then the mask was 985, but then on the mask, there's $3 back on the Ibotta app, which is so awesome. And then I had like $3, like Ulta, Ult, what are the ultimate rewards? Okay, so then, I went to look at nail polish, and I typically wouldn't usually go look at nail polish, but I told you I'm on a mission, because I, my aunt is going to visit Asia, <laughs> different parts, and one of the aunts there wants Barefoot in Barcelona, is it that? By OPI, but obviously they, they no longer make that, so I've been on a mission to kind of find dupes for her, or something close to it, you know? So I went to look at Pacifica, and there was nothing there that I wanted, but I saw this nail polish. It's called, the sh it's called Temple. Isn't that really pretty? So this is so pretty. I hope the formula is good. And then Pacifica was also BOGO 50. So I went to see, I've never really delved into Pacifica. So I was like, okay, what should we do? I didn't want to like play with skincare or makeup and they didn't even have the makeup at my Ulta anyway, but this is the Cactus Water Micellar Cleansing Tonic. So, you know, cleansing water. There was another one that was the Kale something, but this had higher reviews. So I picked this up. Then CVS. So the Sally Hansen was buy two, get $5 extra bucks, right? So I picked up this shade for my aunt. It's called Mauve Over. And then for me, I got, cause I couldn't find another color that I thought she would like. I got Quick Fire. You know, one of those like tomato orangey reds. Oh, I love these, can't wait, can't wait. Um, so with this purchase, I used $5 extra bucks with this. So it went down to like four something and then I got another $5 back, which is awesome. And then I told you guys I wanted to get the L'Oreal Coal Kajal. Um, so I picked up the brown. I forgot how expensive these are. These are like $10. So I used my 25% off here and uh, another $5 extra bucks. But the guy, okay, there was like some kind of weird complication with, I don't know. So they were running a promotion where if you bought any L'Oreal, like eye, complexion, or lip product, I think, you got the Beauty 360 towelettes for free. So everything rang up and somehow he couldn't get coupons to take and certain ones took and it ended up being like 40 cents for both of these. I don't know, I'm not complaining. He's, I'm like, oh, 40 cents? He's like, yeah, that's what it says. I'm like, <laughs> I feel like he's like, I'm not dealing with this anymore. Um, whatever, so I love, 
I don't love cleansing wipes, obviously. The only ones I do like are the Kagendo ones, but these are so great for whenever I'm doing swatches. Like, awesome. So this was free, and this was 40 cents. Super yay. Okay, two dozen eggs. They were 23 cents today. We have yet to beat the 19 cent eggs, so let's just keep on monitoring that. Cheddar. Spray coconut oil. Do you guys ever look at the kids stuff? <laughs> I found these spinach and kale bites in dinosaur shapes. I mean, obviously they try to make it look healthy, but there's potato in this, but still cute, right? <laughs> so I showed you this chunky guacamole one or two weeks ago, two weeks ago. Really good, like it tastes like good guacamole. There was chunks of avocado in it. And I said there was Southwest last time too, but I, I don't know, I don't like beans and there was like black bean in it. However, today, you know what? This might even have been there last time. I just didn't see it, but it's the pineapple poblano. I got two. I'm so excited. I just like having these at work when I'm staying late and I just have like something that I like to eat around. Got our frozen cauliflower. Probably shouldn't use frozen, but I just, I can't buy, sometimes I can't buy fresh vegetables because you know, single life, you can't be wasting stuff. Cottage cheese, olive olive butter, we're gonna do parmesan and cheddar, black pepper, got our ninja ready. Okay, so obviously the coloring of my cauliflower tatoes or tatoes, cauliflower mashed potatoes is a little odd because I had like purple and green cauliflower, but it's good. It tastes like mashed potatoes. I mean, you know it's cauliflower, so obviously it still tastes like cauliflower, but I am like so about this. Look at this huge tub. Huge tub, we're gonna have this for probably lunch and dinner this week I don't know, maybe I should do something else maybe broccoli broccoli with I don't know We're just trying to eat a lot of vegetables